Hello and welcome to this short video on how you can use the widget inputs that you would find in the details panel, any of these, inside uh, your editor utility widget. So uh, if you don't know what an editor utility widget is, is it is a menu, menu system using UMG, which you can use to create your own tools. However, um, when we are creating these, we often have a relatively limited palette of, of tools that we can use. And we don't get things like uh, color pickers, uh, file drop downs, and, um, and various other sort of odds and sods. So this is a sort of workaround to allow you to get access to them inside the editor utility widgets. So for example here, I have an ARM example editor utility widget. You get an editor utility widget by going editor utility, editor utility widget. But that's a, a different uh, uh, a different video. Now, if I right hand click, I'm allowed to run it. And you can see here, I have a drop down. And this is giving me a drop down of all static meshes that we have in the engine. Now, this is quite useful. If I want this to do something complicated, I can select that. Now, how did I do this? Well, let's open up the Editor Utility widget and have a look. Now, this is, we've only got a little bit of code on here. And um, if you look inside the designer, what we have is uh, the widget that we've just created. But if I was to search for a file drop down or something like that, I wouldn't find it within our palette or even something like a color picker. What I'm using is the single property view. So uh, introduced in the engine, uh, I can't remember when it was first introduced, we had something called the property view. Um, and there's two types. There is the uh, category property view where you can uh, view an entire category of properties. But we're going to look at the single property view. I'm going to drag one in here. So we'll, we'll create a color picker using this. Now, um, what this is actually doing is this is actually displaying one of the settings from um, a actor that we have in the world. And this is an actor that I've created to complement this widget. And I call it dummy widgets. It's just of the actor class. And the, the important part is that it has a variable called static mesh select of the type static mesh actor. And I have clicked on the eye to make this instance editable. And this is actually what we are showing inside the widget. So let me, uh, let me demonstrate by looking at the code. So if we were to go into the code, event preconstruct, this is what happens when you first fire up your um, widget. This does two things. The first thing it does is it gets all the dummy widgets in the world and destroys them. So this just means that there's only ever going to be one of these because we only need one and uh, multiple ones are going to get uh, going to gung up the works. Next, we're then going to spawn the one that we are creating. Now, the transform, none of that really matters. The only thing that matters is the actor class is of dummy widget. And then we're saving a reference to it so that we can access it later on. Now, the second on the sequence, what I'm doing is I have grabbed, so our initial one here, I have turned this into a variable. I'll do the same for the one below it turn it into a variable and then I have set the object to be the dummy widget. So I'll do the same thing here. So I'm going to get that. And I'm going to plug that into the target as well. So we need to set the object for this to be the dummy widget that we've just created. Now if I go back into the designer, I'm going to do a color picker this time. Now there are a couple of fields that I need to fill in in this undefined object. So I first need to go and create the uh, variable within the dummy widget. So I'm going to come into here, I'm going to push plus, and I'm going to call this color select. 
and I'm going to make this of class uh, linear linear color. And then I'm going to click on the eye to make this instance editable. And now if I jump back into our editor utility widget under the property name I'm going to paste in color select and compile. And now I'm going to kill this down and save all and run this again. I'm still getting unknown property. What have I done wrong? Aha, I just I hadn't compiled my dummy widget so that's why that didn't work there. But if I was to look into this now you can now see that we have the color select inside the menus and I can come in here and I can use all of the implementation. So we got the color select. Now this it is a bit of a workaround, so it's useful, but there are some some problems. You have to be a little bit clever. If you want to grab what's in these variables, what you need to do is you need to, because um, what we're doing is when we change those, we are changing the settings on the actor in the scene. So in order to reference the reference the variables, I would need to come in here and I would need to get the color select. So I would need a reference to the the actor again and I'd need to get the variable and I need to use that within my code. But um, uh, it's, it's relatively straightforward to do in that case. So um, and you can use that for, for anything that you can find within the details panel. Now there's one thing you might want. Can you see it's got color select written here? That's not always optimal. You might want to play something else or just get rid of that. The way you can do that is in the designer, in the property names, under advanced there is a name override. You can either put your own name in or you can just put a space. Uh, if it's blank it will, it will give the default but if you put a space then now it will be, it will be, um, uh, it, it will get rid of any of the text. There will be a little, little bit of a, um, a break though, so it's not perfect for formatting. Okay, I hope that's useful. Bye.